Innovation is in Newcastle's DNA. Newcastle was the first place in the world to have a, a street lit by electric lights. And I'm really excited that we'll have a smart street installed by Connexin and Cisco, which will transform the way that we see our world. We're only just starting to learn about the potential impact of new technologies. And it will do so much to explore how we can not only connect better to each other, but also to the city we love. Our world is changing. Uh, with innovations in health, in technology, and our improvement in standards of living, people and their demands to cities are ever-changing. It's about giving us that insight into what the city is doing, how the city is living, how the city is feeling, so that we can make adjustments and improve things in real time. Newcastle's a great city where digital businesses can really flourish and the investment in Collingwood Street that Cisco are making is testament to that. We want to be a smart city that has digital and data at its heart, a city that plans using that data. The, the Newcastle Smart Street project is a really fantastic opportunity to demonstrate what's possible in a uh, an environment where you add some digital technology to a, a, a road in a, in a normal city. So we're going to be looking at how you can make waste management smarter, parking smarter, um, improve and make lighting smarter, um, we're going to be measuring air quality, we're going to be looking at how vehicles affect road surfaces and um, we're going to then use that uh, to look at how those insights can be used together to give you intelligence about how a city's working and how you can maybe improve it for people that live and work and visit that place. Cisco are working with a, an ecosystem of uh, partners in this project. Uh, Mayflower are providing the smart lighting solution, Connexin are bringing the whole thing together as the main delivery partner and Quantella are providing um, some of the integration tools that are necessary and also a, a very smart uh, artificial intelligence engine called Atlantis. Cisco's role in, in the project is we're providing a platform called Cisco Kinetic for Cities which combines all those different data sets together and then enables you to do clever things with that data. Does traffic and congestion increase air pollution? You can only do that when you're monitoring both congestion and air pollution together and whereas there's lots of great solutions for looking at those things separately it's still pretty unusual to do it as a combined thing. Quantella is bringing advanced analytical capabilities, uh, you know, predictive analytics for uh, different domain-specific use cases, like how exactly do you foresee the parking prediction or how is the parking forecast going to look like. Similarly, we have a lot of information on environment. What is the potential prediction for uh, the air quality? You know, do you see the CO2 levels go up depending on their past history or do you see the CO2 levels go down? For a number of years we've been at the forefront of smart street lighting. Business case built on reduced maintenance costs and energy costs because you control the lights and dim them. So if I can collect data from sensors, whatever they may be, and provide it to an open data platform, I can encourage SMEs and other businesses to build solutions to benefit the citizen. There's a host of things that can come into here, but it's the ability to provide an infrastructure that collects the data from sensors that can be deployed and provides that data, an open platform for people to exploit. And that's where we think the future innovation will come from. Third parties building applications to work in a smart city environment. Looking at what we're doing in Newcastle, we're taking that first step. Like in everything, five years ago, if people talked about smart cars or autonomous vehicles, people would have laughed at it. Today, we're talking about smart cities and smart streets. In Newcastle, this project will be that leader that will show and enable and inspire people to see what can be achieved if technology is mixed with people.